But of course, the big winner over the night, Mayor Larry and Gaylor Baird. Yeah, Channel 8's Mackenzie Johnson reports on what Mayor Baird has planned for her next four years in office. Spirits were high in Delray 817 after Mayor Leary and Gaylor Baird was re-elected by the people of Lincoln. She had quite the crowd of supporters in attendance at her watch party, including state senators, city council candidates, family and friends. In her victory speech, she said the night was a win for them all. When I say we, I mean it. This campaign was powered by the people of this community. All of you in this room and so many thousands of others who aren't here with us tonight but come from every corner of our community. Thank you, Lincoln! Gaylor Baird got over 42,000 votes. Her main campaign priorities were public safety, streets and sidewalks, the economy, and quality of life for Lincoln's residents. Together, we stood up for a bright and beautiful vision of this community. Gaylor Baird was originally elected in 2019 as Lincoln's 52nd mayor. She will be carrying some big projects over into her second term, including an affordable housing plan, climate action plan, a park in the South Haymarket, and a welcoming and belonging plan for immigrants and refugees in the city. And while she was focused on celebrating her success, she also spoke about what's to come in her next four years in office. This is a community that we love to call home. We know it's safe, we know it's vibrant, we know it's growing, and we've got to keep it that way. We've got lots more work to do. This has been a triumph of our love for Lincoln over the politics of fear. Thank you, everyone. Reporting in Lincoln, Mackenzie Johnson, Channel 8 News. And this morning, we're also hearing from former state senator Suzanne Geis following her loss, though she was complimentary toward Gaylor Baird. She says she just wants all voices in Lincoln to be heard. I appreciate her leadership. Um, we have a different style. We would do things differently. But the most important thing is to understand that there is a group of people here in the city that um, think differently, that want to be brought to the table and need to be heard by the current mayor.